Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. 647 on this Tuesday morning, seeing some snow in the mountains. We are, yes. Just about that time of year, I guess. It is. Still a little ways away from a lot of ski resorts opening, but it never hurts to get an early yeah. start. I'm sure a lot of mountains will have at least a couple inches of snow at the summits this morning. We're even finding a little dusting of snow in Ellenburg. This is from the New York State Mesonet camera, a weather station that helps us bring you the current temperature for a lot of areas in the North Country. Each weather station also has a camera and that's useful on mornings like this because we can see clearly there's a little dusting on the grass, but it doesn't look like it's sticking to say the fence post, which bodes well for the road conditions. It probably won't be sticking in lower elevations, but as you get above say one 2000 feet, you may find a couple of snow covered roads in the North Country and in northern Vermont. Temperatures are below freezing for a decent bit of the Adirondack Park there. Most of us in the 30s for northern Vermont, low 40s in Plattsburgh and Burlington, still some mid 40s off to the south. Haven't seen too much in terms of rain or snow showers, but clearly there's some moisture left over in northern areas early this morning. Looks like a lot of the snow in the Ellenburg area is starting to break up, but still snowing at a decent clip by Mount Mansfield in Stowe. And you can see the elevation difference here. Bolton kind of in and out of that rain snow line, although it looks like with some extra cold air, a couple of snowflakes may be making it to parts of Interstate 89 between Richmond and Waterbury. Probably not enough to cause any big issues, but something to watch, especially if we can get that temperature to drop a few more degrees in the near term. You can clearly see where the wind is coming from. It's from the north and west. That is the colder direction for us, and it's going to be a fierce wind for most of today. There could be some wind gusts up to 40 miles per hour through the early afternoon. That would be enough to cause a few isolated power outages. Even though the wind dies down a bit in the evening, it still stays breezy all through the overnight into tomorrow as well. With the combination of the clouds and the showers this morning and the wind, temperatures hold steady in the low 40s through the afternoon. It's not until right around evening that we start to break up these clouds and we should enter the overnight with a mostly clear sky. Looks like the brightening trend happens first in the North Country. A lot of Vermont and New Hampshire having to wait a while for these clouds to leave. First thing tomorrow morning should be mainly clear and most of tomorrow will be sunny too. But with that wind still out of the north and temperatures in the 40s, we are expecting wind chills to once again stay in the 20s and 30s all through Wednesday afternoon. Stays chilly for the rest of the week. Thursday looking dry. We'll have to watch some late day showers Friday into Saturday as temperatures then quickly rise into the 50s as we think about early next week. Still right around normal for this time of year. Back to you. We do need more rain around here, Ben. Thank you. Veterans Day may be over, but you can.